Oh, God, we bless you right now. You're so worthy to be praised. Listen, if you know that God is worthy, why don't you just shout, he's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, say it again. He's worthy. he's worthy. Why don't you just look at a neighbor, tell him God is so worthy to be praised. So Come on, look at another neighbor. Tell him that God is so worthy to be praised. Oh, God, we bless you right now. Father, you're so worthy to be praised. Come on, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless you right now. Some praise, you know, he's worthy to be praised. I am a friend of God. Hallelujah. I am a friend of God.
down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. You give me joy, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love instead of pain. There's freedom though you captured me. I've got joy instead of mourning. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love instead of pain. There's freedom though you captured me. I've got joy instead of mourning. You give me joy down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, there's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love instead of pain. There's freedom though you captured me. I've got joy instead of mourning. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love instead of pain. This freedom though you captured me, I've got joy instead of mourning. You give me joy down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. You give me joy down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. You give me joy down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Oh God, we bless you right now. Father, you're worthy to be praised, and we thank you for joy. Come on, let's sing it on one accord. You give me joy. You give me joy. Down deep, down deep in my soul. Down deep, down in, my deep soul. in my soul. Down Hallelujah. deep in my soul. You give me joy. You give me joy. Down deep in my soul. 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 You give me joy. Down deep in my soul. 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 You give me joy. Listen, 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 listen. How many people really have joy in your life? Listen, I know we've been through a hurricane, a tropical storm, Irma, but we still have joy. God has brought us through. Why don't you tell a neighbor that God has brought us through? Tell a neighbor God has brought us through the storm. He brought us through the rain. You ought to give God the biggest hand praise you've ever given him right now. Hallelujah, we bless you right now for that God. Come on, let's sing it again. You give me joy. You give me joy. You give me joy. Down deep in my soul. 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 I am grateful, Lord. You give me joy. Down deep in my soul. 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 You give me joy. You give me joy. Down deep in my soul. God, we praise you. And we glorify you for joy and speak of love. That's full of glory. Hallelujah. Oh God, we bless you. You give me joy. You give me joy. Down deep in my soul. You give me joy. Hallelujah. You give me joy. Oh God, we bless you. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. 
Oh, come on, praise the name of Jesus. Not only does he give us joy, but he keeps on blessing us. And we bless you for that, Lord, right now, God. The Lord is blessing me right now. Hallelujah.
Jesus down in my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's have some church now. Oh God, we bless you. Listen. Glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I've got Jesus in my heart. I'm glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. I said, I'm glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. I'm glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Hallelujah. I'm glad I got Jesus in my heart. Oh, I'm glad I've got a friend down in my heart. I'm glad I've got a friend down in my heart. Oh, God, we love you. I'm glad I've got a friend. Jesus. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. Down in my heart. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. Down in my soul. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? 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 I got Jesus. Clap your hand. I got Jesus. Clap your hand. I got Jesus. Come on and clap your hand. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I said, I've got Jesus. 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 Way down in my soul. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. Way down in my heart. I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. Oh, glad I've got Jesus. Glad I've got Jesus. I'm glad I've got Jesus. Down in my heart. Oh, glad I've got Jesus. Hallelujah. In my heart. I'm glad I've got peace. Down in my heart. I'm glad I've got peace. Down in my heart. Thank you, Lord God. I'm glad I've got peace. Down in my heart. Oh, glad I got Jesus. In my heart. Oh, I've got Jesus. I got Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Way down in your soul. I got Jesus. Way down in your heart. I got Jesus. Way down in your mind. I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Let me see you clap your hands. I got Jesus. Let me see you clap your hands. I got Jesus. Let me see you wave your hands. I got Jesus. Let me see you wave your hands. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. 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 Oh, glad I've got Jesus. Down in my heart. Glad I've got Jesus. Glad I've got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. I got Jesus. In my soul. I got Jesus. In my spirit. I got Jesus. Everywhere I go. I got Jesus. I've got Jesus. 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 Oh, glad I've got Jesus. I'm glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I've got Jesus down in my heart. Here we go. Glad I've got Jesus in my heart. In my heart. Oh, come on, praise the name of Jesus. He's so worthy to be praised. We bless you right now, God. And we thank you for making a way. You made 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 a
Hallelujah. God will make a way. And we're standing here. I wish everybody stand on your feet and understand that God wants to make a way. That God is that healer. I said, God is that healer. I said, God is that healer. He calls you may always. I come to preach this morning. I come to prophesy. I come to declare this morning that God is a way maker. God is a healer. God is a healer. Early this morning, about 5 o'clock, God woke me up. And God said, today is a day of miracles. The day is the day of miracles. I decree right now, today is a day of miracles. I decree right now, today is a day of miracles. I decree right now, the day is a day of miracles. I know this city is under a spiritual attack. Families are under a spiritual attack. How are we going to pray for families in a spiritual attack? How are you this morning? There's people hurting in their body. How do I believe that God is a healer? I said, I believe that God is a healer. Let me say it again. I believe that God is a healer. I believe that God is a healer. I said, I believe that God is a healer. You say, Pastor, I'm in this service this morning. I need God to touch my body. I need God to heal me. I want you to come down here in a hurry. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I believe right now, if you're hurting in your body, that God can heal you. Hallelujah. I believe right now that God can heal you. Come on, church. I want you to come in. I want you to come a little closer. God promised me this morning. God promised me this morning. Come on, church. I need some prayer warriors to help me pray. I need some prayer warriors to help me pray. I believe this morning that God is going to bring healing. Oh, yellow my mama. Come on, church. Someone help me pray. Oh, come on, church. Come on, church. I believe that God is going to heal. I believe that God is going to heal. Yes, Lord. I believe that God is going to heal. Oh, hallelujah. I want y'all to come over this way just a little bit. Oh, holy one. Come on, church. I need some prayer warriors. I need some prayer warriors. Hallelujah. God ain't going to lie to me today. I said, God's not going to lie to me today. Some four o'clock this morning, he said, I'm going to heal. It's going to be a day of miracles. I'm still waiting on some more to come. I'm still waiting on some more to come. I'm still waiting on some more to come. Oh, Holy One. Come on, church. I'm waiting on somebody to help me pray. I'm waiting on somebody to help me pray. Oh, Holy One. Oh, come on, church. Oh, we stand in agreement right now. We stand in agreement right now. Oh, hallelujah. Where are you hurting at? You're hurting in the chest right now. Come on, church. I need, I need somebody to know how to pray. I need somebody to know how to pray. I need somebody to know how to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, pain, leave this body. Lord, you told me early this morning for me to anoint with all. And Lord, I'm anointing with all and healing. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing and in Jesus' name. Where are you hurting at? Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak for that shoulder to be healed by the stripes. Come on, saints. I need somebody. I need someone to help me pray. I need someone to help me pray. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. All of my mama, she call out of my mama. He call out of all of my come. Oh, holy one. I want you to raise that arm up. Where's your pain at? 
All right, the pain's gone. Hallelujah. The pain you, is gone. No the pain. pain. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. Come on, church. Come on, church. I believe if every one of you would get that kind of faith all the way down this aisle, all the way down, all the way down this long aisle. Hallelujah. Where's your pain at, girl? All over in Jesus' name. Be healed 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 in Jesus' name. Every muscle, every tissue. Lord, I'm speaking even distress. Leave this body. Stress, leave this life. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Won't you shout hallelujah? I want you to take a deep breath. Where's that pain at? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, hallelujah. Jesus. There's no pain. Oh, hallelujah. Your ears, Father. Oh, Holy One. Oh, Holy One. Holy One. Come on, church. Holy One. Healing. 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 If the drums would stop a second. Healing. 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 In Jesus' name. Ears. Be healed. Ears to hear the gospel. Be healed. Lord, just like you said this to me this morning, be healed. In Jesus' name. I want you to repeat after me. Jesus. 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 Oh, somebody help me shout hallelujah. You. Woo! Glory! Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. I Thank you, here. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, she rejoices. She got tears running down on her. Oh, hallelujah. Where's your pain at? Your hip? All the way down your leg? Hallelujah. Right now, it's going. It's going. It's going. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing. I speak healing. Speak healing. I don't guess we have to ask her if she's healed. I, I, I don't guess we have to ask her. I, I, I don't guess we have to ask her if she's healed. Oh, the mama, 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 she cut him out. You're where you hurt him, mom. Father, in this shoulder, in these hips. Come on, church. I don't need spectators this morning. I need prayer warriors today. I need prayer warriors today. I need prayer warriors today. Come on, church. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, heal it. 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 I'm healing in Jesus' name. I want you to move that shoulder, Mom. Oh, my mama. He killed on a mom. He killed on my mom. Oh, and my mom. I want you to I want you to pick that leg up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where's your pain? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hold on. Oh, she ain't got none. Oh, hallelujah. What you hurting in your body, in your neck? Father, healing, healing. Come on, church. I need someone to help me pray. Healing in the name of Jesus. Pain leave by the stripes of Christ in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, muscles get in alignment with the Word of God. God, restoration, we begin to restore what was damaged, what was hurt. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Oh, no, 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 no. Hallelujah. Sis, I want you to move your neck. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I want you to move your neck. Yes. It's I'll get here right now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank oh, hallelujah. Where are you hurting? In my feet, in my hand, in my legs. Our feet, or hands, and legs. You, you believe if God healed all the rest of these, He can heal you? Father, in the name of Jesus, I just speak healing. Oh, healing. 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 Pastor says, I need you to touch her feet. Healing. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are you hurting at? 
Hallelujah. Father, we just speak healing in that lungs, lying devil, trying to torment her, put fear in her. I say that C word, I ain't even going to pronounce it. I'm not even going to give you honor of saying that word. I, I denounce you and send you back to hell which you come from. I speak healing, healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Won't you take a deep breath? How do you feel? I feel good. Oh, hallelujah. Where are you hurting at? My stomach and my hands. Your stomach and your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just speak healing. Speak healing. Come on, church. I need somebody to pray. I, you know, two people, you know, I don't want you to look around. I need somebody to pray. If this was your daughter, if this is your wife, Father, in Jesus' name, healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus. I want you to take a deep breath. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's gone. It's Woo. gone. Glory, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Have I ever seen you before? So you believe that God is a miracle worker? Yes. You believe he can do anything? Yes, I do. You, where are you hurting in your body? I have stenosis in my groin area. It's a blood flow in my legs are, are light. They have no more blood flow. Okay, so... So when I pray for you, then you'll know that God touched you. Father, in the name of Jesus, blood, arteries, vessels, open up. Lord, let blood flow. God, you created these articles to flow, the blood vessels to flow. And Lord, I just speak healing, 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 blood flow, healing flow, blood flow, healing flow. Oh, holy one. <laughs> oh, you feel it. You feel it all over you. I see it all over you, girl. Yes, I do. It's everywhere. It's flowing everywhere. It's flowing everywhere. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank God. Praise Come on, church. God ain't lied to me. Hallelujah. Every single one at this point has been healed. Every single one. Where are you hurting? You're back. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to this back to be healed. Pastor Sissy, put your hand on that back. Healing. Healing. Come on, church. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. I want you to walk out this way. I want you to twist that back, back and forth like this. Whatever way. How do you feel any pain? No pain. No pain whatsoever. Where you? And your knee, which knee is it? Father, I just speak healing in his knee. Pastor Eddie, put your hand on that knee. Speak healing in Jesus' name. By the stripes of Christ, in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. I need somebody to help me pray. Father, this is what God promised me this morning. God promised me healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. I want you, I want you to pick that knee up. I want you to bend it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Let's do a little bit better than that. I, I know you ain't very fast at running, but hallelujah. Let me see if I can help you run a little bit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, slow poke. Come on, slow poke. Don't, you know, don't let a 63-year-old guy outrun you. You, you, feel any, you feel any pain in your knees? No, sir. There's no pain whatsoever. No pain whatsoever. No pain whatsoever. Oh, holy one. Hallelujah. Father, we just speak healing in this woman of God's body. Father, we just speak healing. Father, healing. Healing in Jesus' name. God, I just feel the anointing. God, I just transfer the anointing. Healing in Jesus' name. Come on, church. Healing in Jesus' name. Lord, touch this great woman of God. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. Oh, in Jesus' name. Oh, touch Brother Cecil, God. Touch Brother Cecil right there. Healing. Lord, if there's ever been a real salvation man of God, Cecil is. Lord, I just speak healing in his body. Healing. Where you at, Tristan? Come over here, Tristan. I want you to put your hands on him. I want you to pray for him, son. Where are you hurting at? 
all over your body. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just speak healing. Healing from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Strength. 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 The blood of Jesus flow through this body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want you to take a deep breath. How do you feel? feel good. Come on, take another deep breath. Because healing's coming in. Hallelujah. Also about your house. And you know, God's getting rid of some things at your house, some stress you've been going through. God's getting rid of some stuff at your house. How do you know, what's God's getting rid of some worry in your life. You're worried about some things. How do you, and, and, and the worry is causing some issues in your body. But God said, I'll get rid of the root of the problem, not just the result, but the root. Of, come on, somebody help me worship. Where are you hurting at? Your head, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just speak healing in this head. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, in Jesus' name, amen. I want you to take a deep breath. Hallelujah. Have you got a pain in your head now? It's gone. Somebody howl, shout hallelujah where you hurt him, Mom. Her lungs, in Jesus' name. Come on, church. I need somebody to help me pray. I need somebody to help me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just speak healing. Heal these lungs to breathe fresh air, in Jesus' name, amen. Mom, I want you to walk over here with me. In Jesus' name, won't you take a deep breath? How do you feel? I feel better. You I feel, feel better? better? Thank you. Jesus. Oh no, I want you to be. Thank I want you to be healed. Thank hallelujah! You, Come on, church. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, thank church. You. Oh, hallelujah! Come on, church. Oh, holy one, holy one, healed, healed, lying devil. Lord, I remind you of her faithfulness to God and her faithfulness to her walk. And Father, I just speak healing in her body from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, we just speak healing in my mama, she call my in this back. Every tissue, every muscle, and every joint. Lord, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, all the way through the bottom of her stomach. God, I just speak healing. Father, healing. Lord, I just speak 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 healing. Come on, church. Come on, church. Because what's happening right now is not a miracle we can see. But it's a miracle inside of her body. Sometimes there's miracles that happen with its bones and muscles and we can see it. But right now this is inside. God's healing and God's destroying the works of the devil. God's destroying down to the root. Father, we just speak healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Where you hurt, Mom? And her knee. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy One. I need you to pick those knees up, Mom. Come on, church. Come on, Mom. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healed by faith. Heal out of my mama, my mama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got any pain? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't have to ask her. Father, healing in Jesus' name. Where are you hurting at? Your cholesterol? Father, I just speak healing in this blood. By the stripes of Christ, in the name of Jesus, I speak healing in Jesus' name. Lord, I speak healing in Jesus' name. Lord, touch Bob in your palm. I'm missing Friday morning service and all because this phone's been here for nine months. Father, we just speak healing. Healing by the stripes of Christ in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just speak for this pain to leave and this discomfort to leave. And by the name of Jesus and Lord, in your holy name, we just speak healing. Lord, we speak healing. Father, you already said it. Now, God, I agree it for it to happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Where's your pain at? Father, she just wants prayer. Father, in her whole house, let victory come. Let victory come. Lord, she needs a miracle. Lord, she needs a miracle, and you're a miracle worker. In Jesus' name. Where are you hurting, girl? Father, just give her strength. She just, I just need strength. Lord, I just need strength. Come here, come here, woman of God. Oh, you just... How do you just pray her through to strengthen her body, strengthen her life? Where are you hurting, girl? Father, she needs brand new kidneys. Well, the God that gave the first ones can give her the second ones. 
Hallelujah, mama, in Jesus' name. Lord, I just speak for these kidneys to flow and function like they're supposed to function. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Where, where, you, where are you hurting? Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Holy One. Father, good reports. Cast down every fear. Good reports. Father, we cast in. Now, God, you healed First Lady of Cancer in the breast. You can heal her. Lord, I stood there and I watched you heal her and give her brand new healing. And God, I'd say the same to her by the same Jesus in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Where you're hurting? Huh? Fa oh, I understand. Father, just a heavy heart. Father, just speak healing a peace in her house. Healing a peace in her house. Healing a peace in her house. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I wish everybody get on your feet right where you are. How are we getting ready to worship and praise God? I said, we're getting ready to worship and praise God. Where you're hurting. Huh? Father, heal his back. Lord, been so proud of this young man that's come forth and God, he's doing a complete commitment over to you. God, now I ask you to heal this back. Give him a miracle so that he can tell other people about this miracle. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to move around, Tristan. Hello, you got any pain? No, no pain. Where are you hurt? And his knee. Father, I just speak healing in this knee. Healing in this knee. In the name of Jesus, I just speak healing in Jesus' name. Pain leave in Jesus' name. I want you, I want you to pick that knee up and down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now I want you to walk with me. I would ask you to run, but you'd outrun me. I know how you are. Your competition, your competition, your competition. You got any pain? Huh? None at all. No pain? Oh, can I get somebody to help me rejoice? Can I get somebody to help me rejoice? Oh, Holy One. You, 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 where are you hurting? Father, if healing in that foot in Jesus' name. Healing. And Pastor Sissy, come and touch this foot because she's going to be healed. And she's going to, yes, she's going to, yes, she's going to run with me. Healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus' name. I want you to pick that foot up and down. Healed in Jesus' name. You feel any pain? You feel any pain? Oh, oh it feels good now. Okay, okay, listen, I, I ain't gonna make you run. I ain't gonna make you run. I ain't gonna make you run. We're just gonna run. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus a hand clap. Just like God said it this morning. Just like God said it this morning. If you're watching my internet, God can do the same for you. Why? I want everybody to stand at your feet and I want you to proclaim that God will make a way. Come on, church. Oh, Holy One. You made a way. Yes, 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 yes. You made Oh, Holy One. Come on, church. I feel the anointing. Oh, way. Yes, Jesus. Father, touch Sister Nell. I wish everybody would just pray for me. Pray with me right now for Sister Nell. That God gives her a peace that passes all understanding. One of the greatest men beside my dad. Brother Alvy is shouting in heaven with my dad today. Great celebration service. So easy to preach it, but God, I need you to give her strength. Give her strength. Give her strength in her life. Lord, just put a blood cover over her. Put a blood cover over her house. Give her peace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus. You made a way. Yes, Jesus. Touch my son. Church, let's say it again. You oh, 
Lord. Come on, let's sing it again. You made a way. Yes, he did. You made a way. Come on, somebody say it. her up under the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, Holy One. Come on, church. Oh, you may. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You may. Are there anybody in the building that knows that God made a way? Yes, yes, yes. Glad you made it today, son. Been praying for you. I want you to stretch your hands towards us. He needs a miracle in his family. And I didn't bring him up to embarrass him because I'm not going to say something that we all need a miracle in our family. We all need a miracle in our family. God has been good to him, and I'm just asking God to do something greater in his life. Come on, church. Somebody help me speak life, healing, victory, peace. Father, a peace that passes all understanding, every weapon that would be formed against him. Lord, he's a great father. He's a great father. And, Father, we ask you to touch him today. Touch him today and just let a peace that passes all understanding be upon his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody say, and it is so. Say, it is so, and it is so, it is so. Yes, come on, church. Yes, 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 yes. name you how I'm still gonna preach so yes don't get in a hurry father touch mom today you've renewed her strength now God touch her family God Lord that's Lord she would go on to heaven right now God if all of her family was ready to go with her but God she's gonna stay around until she sees every promise that you promised and God I speak total healing in her body victory in her life in Jesus' name, away. Yes, 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 yes. You made a way. Lord, touch mom today. You made a way. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. You made a way. Come on, church, I feel the anointing. I want somebody to prophesy to yourself. I want somebody to prophesy to yourself and say, I'm healed. I don't hear you. I'm healed. How are you healed? Come on, I need somebody to prophesy to yourself. How are you healed? Come on, somebody need to prophesy to yourself. How are you healed? Come on, somebody, I'm healed by the stripes of Christ. I'm healed because of the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm an overcomer because of the word of God. 
I'm healed. I'm healed because of Jesus done at Calvary. I'm healed. Come on, somebody need to prophesy. My house is saved. Somebody need to prophesy. Go ahead, prophesy. Prophesy. Oh, you say, Pastor, I don't have the right. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You got the right. You got the right. You have the you got the right to prophesy. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. I, yes, Jesus. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed. I'm healed. Yes, Jesus. 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 Healed. Healed. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. Go ahead. Somebody say it. I'm healed. Heal. I'm healed. I'm not healed because I feel healed. I'm healed by faith. I'm healed by faith. I'm by faith. I believe. 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 Come on, church. I believe. I believe. Against every doctor's report, I believe. Against the way I feel, I believe. I believe. And I feel the anointing right now. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Sister Williams, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Yes, I believe. Oh, I believe. Brother Nelson, I believe. I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Lord, we ask you to touch my little sis today. Lord, I ask you to bring healing into her body. By the stripes of Christ, in the name of Jesus, I just decree and decree for her, not only her, but for loved ones that she's praying for. Lord, she gets word over other folks and concerned about, about other folks. But, but God, today you're going to touch other folks and touch her. And you're going to give her strength in her body in Jesus' name. 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 Oh, yes. Jesus' name. I believe it. Jesus' name. Yes. Jesus name. Jesus name. Yes. Jesus name. Yes. Jesus name. 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 Yes. Come on, church. Jesus name. Oh. I don't know if y'all seen the back lights, but the back lights were even dancing. If I can't get you to worship, the, the, the lights will worship by themselves. Yes. Yeah, come on, church. I feel the anointing. Somebody, you don't realize you're over the storm. You're over the storm. You're over the storm. Yes, Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy God, power of the Holy God, power of the Holy Ghost, power in the name, power in the name. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Call him. Jesus. Go get it. Go get those K E Y S. Go get the keys. 
Hallelujah. Somebody say, my house. Sister Charlene, all the way in the corner, girl. God said, I got you over there. God said, I got you way over there, girl. I started to go on with the service. and uh, uh, Pastor Sissy, I want you to run back over there and touch Sister Charlene. Hallelujah. I felt the anointing of God. Sister Charlene, even before Pastor Sissy gets there, God's going to be doing something in your life. Oh, hallelujah. He's fulfilling you, girl. He's full. He's completing you, girl. He's completing you. He's fulfilling and completing you. Oh, yes, Jesus. Jesus. Somebody shout, it's mine. I want you to look to somebody and say, it's mine. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, the whole house. What we can't do, you can do. Lord, we give you what we have. Yes. Yes, my mama, mama, she fell out of mama. In the whole house. Every issue. Every hidden issue. Every issue we can't solve is yours. Yes. Yes, Lord, I'm proud to see this man standing up. Oh, he being what you want him to be, but God, there's something greater for him. Something greater for him. Something greater for his house. It's mine in my house. It's mine. Oh, mine. It's mine. It's mine. I want somebody to say, it's happening in my house. I'm getting it in my house. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. If God's good to you, give Jesus a hand clap. Hallelujah. If God's good to you, give him a hand clap of praise. Come on. Somebody need to give him a crazy praise. Hallelujah. A crazy praise. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God we made it through the storm. The Holy Ghost spoke this to me and he says, tell the people. He said, that storm's over with. And another storm they're going with, going through is over with. Hallelujah. He said, there's coming a peace. There's coming a peace. There's coming a peace. Oh, hallelujah. You may be seated. Just thank God for his goodness because God is so good. If you're able, if not, go ahead and worship. You're in a house of God that says it's okay to worship. Go ahead, Charlene. I still feel the Holy Ghost moving over there, girl. I love to see it when my spiritual daughters get so filled up, over, over bubbling. Hallelujah. So glad to see what God is doing. And hallelujah. And are there anybody in the church that your lights are not on at house? Or anybody still, your lights are not on at home? Are there anybody in the house? And I think we ought to shout hallelujah. We got 100%. Everybody's lights are on. Uh, that ought to say something, brother. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everything's okay in the Father's house. And people ask us, how did it take here at the church? Well, we we okay. We got a couple of little leaks over there and a couple of little limbs over here and part of our stained glass, it, which it's, it, it kind of been a little shaky for about 25 years and highly, it didn't happen in the storm but after the storm a couple of little pieces fell out of it and, but everything's okay in the Father's house everything's okay in the Father's house right before we go to a word that God gave me I actually got started yesterday and I just didn't get finished and highly, I was excited I love the preaching anytime anybody asks me to preach I come preach I come preach I come to preach and Hallelujah, I just thank God that I'll be preaching again tonight. And hallelujah, Friday morning got something started and couldn't finish. So I'll finish that tonight if I can, if the Holy Ghost let me. And I got started something yesterday at a church. And I'm just going to finish up and get started and finish it up if I can. A lot of folks in this building have been with us a long time. Hallelujah. And I just thank God the ministry's still moving on. Churches change over the period of time, but... Thank God that God don't never change. Uh, 
let me stand up here. I, I've not even had a chance to do this while the ushers are still doing this here. And could you tell us who you are, what your name is? My name is Michael McDowell. And could you tell us a little about yourself? Well, I am a writer, producer in the gospel industry. A lot of the songs you hear on the radio I've written. And so it was last year that you was the National Songwriter of the Year? Yes, I was nominated for Song of the Year, and I won the 2016 Song of the Year. So, and, and he's a part of our family here at the church. Yes, I am. I would kiss you, but your wife wouldn't get mad at me. I'm honored to have him, and the band just loves him. The singers just love him, and there's no competition on the stage. They just all work together in the kingdom, and hallelujah. Y'all could just get ready. This music's about to blow up even greater than it's ever been before, and I just thank God for what God is doing. Everybody stand to your feet because God give me a word. Hallelujah. Somebody said, pray for the Jaguars. I just hope the cheerleaders show up like they did last year or last week and play again and all the other guys stay at home or whatever because I think it was the cheerleaders that won last week. I don't know what it was, but y'all know I ain't a football fan. I just had to throw that in to get a smile off a couple of the men in the church. You know, uh, uh, I, I do understand a little bit about the Jaguars. I don't know who the quarterback is this day, but I do understand that they are on our hometown team. So some folks went to the game today. I went to the game too today. I, I, I'm in the game. I'm in the game of saving lives. And I, 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 I come to work today and I come to prophesy into your future. I come to tell you your best is better than your past. I come to tell you you still got great things coming your way. I come to tell you there ain't nothing that God said that he was going to do for you that he ain't going to do for you. He's going to bring it to pass because God is a great big God. And Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, go with me to the book of Luke, chapter 22, and verse 7. And I got started on this yesterday, and I, I, I'm going to just kind of run with this ball again this, uh, uh, you, you know, today because God's given me a word, and hallelujah, I, 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 and, you know, which I spend more time in the word today than I've ever spent before, more time studying, more time praying. Somebody said, well, you should have already, already read. I've read the Bible over and over again, but I'm still in pre-K. I, I ain't learned nothing. I'm still trying to find, I'm trying to get out of pre-K. I'm just trying to get out of it because I found out there's something in the word of God. God, that helped me through my storm. Father, anoint our ears, let us hear. Father, anoint these lips of clay. Let me, let me get out of my spirit what you placed in my spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 27, verse number 7. Then came the day of the unliving bread when the Passover must be killed. He sent Peter and John saying, go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. Verse number 9 is where I want to speak and then you may be seated. And they said unto him, Where will thou that we prepare you may be seated? Or in other words, what do you want me to do? This past week, uh, we all prepared for a storm. We all prepared in a crazy type of way. And, and, it was, and, he, and here he says, whenever you get to the place, uh, uh, you, you'll find an upper room and it's already been prepared. I come to speak to some of you here today that it's so important for us to prepare. So how do we prepare? There's some folks that I just got me three bottles of water and that's all I got. And some got 20 cases of water. How do some folks have just got three cans of pork and beans and some got a, a basket full of pork and beans. There's some of you going to be eating pork and beans and canned stuff for a long time because you spent all your money on, on that. Why? Because you was preparing. And I'm at this place in our life that we need to prepare for something spiritually. We need to prepare for something that God is getting ready to do in our life. I don't mean for us just to prepare for one day. I don't mean for us to prepare that the Red Cross said we need to have food and water for three days. I'm not talking about a three-day supply. I'm talking about us as a church, us a body of Christ, us a family, that we learn to prepare for our future. Isaiah said it like this. He said in Isaiah chapter 54 and verse number 1, and he said, Sing, O barren, thou didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. 
child that thou that travail not with a child. For more are the children, more are the children of the desolate than of the children of their wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge your place. Enlarge the place of your tent. Which means that I am preparing for God to do something. How can we enlarge the place of our tent is we can't stay the way that we are. We can't stay in the same mindset where we are. Poor old me and this is how it is and everybody else is doing fine and I'm not doing it. I'm getting disgusted at the world. But Isaiah said those that are barren, those that are broken, those that are disgusted, you need to learn how to sing, which means you need to learn how to get a praise. He said those that are barren, I want you to sing because I'm going to let you be more blessed than those that are married. I'm going to let you be more blessed than those that should have children. Children. I'm going to let you be blessed. And in verse number two, he said, enlarge your tent, stretch forth your curtains. Why? I'm getting ready for Irma to come. I'm getting ready for a storm to come, and I'm going to be ready when the storm gets here. I have prepared by myself. He said, strengthen out your courts. And verse number three, he said, for thou shalt break forth itself, uh, it shall break forth on the right and on the left, and thou see shall inherit the Gentiles. I ain't talking about just me, but I'm talking about my house. I'm talking about my seed. We're going to inherit something. He said, I want you to enlarge yourself and I want you to I want you to enlarge yourself and I want you to pre uh, prepare. Now if I had time to really preach, I would preach where Daniel, pr he prayed and he prayed before he got into the lion's den so he prepared. He studied the word and he knew the word of God. He knew that it was time for the release to come so he pr prepared and he prayed. I can believe that David he began to prepare whenever he he was out in the back of the pasture with his you know, with his sheep and, and he was out there taking care of the sheep and he was out there taking care of daddy's sheep and, and, and a bear come up and, and a lion come up and so therefore he was prepared. Every storm you go through and this is where I come to preach today. It's preparing you for where you are going. You are not going through a storm in your life just because God's mad at you. You're not going through an issue in your life because God don't care for you. God said I'm building you up for you can be something great so you can stretch your tents so that you can receive so much. David prepared himself with a lion. He prepared himself with a bear before he got to the giant. Before you get to the big things in your life, you're going to have to learn how to contend with some footmen before you can mess with the horsemen. We can find that in the book of Genesis that Noah Noah says, hey, God began to, you may not know it, but God was the very first one weather forecaster. Yes, he was. God was their very first weather forecaster. He began to uh, forecast something to Noah. He said, Noah, there's coming a storm. There's coming a rain. Can I call it an Emma? Can I call it Irma? Can I call it Henry? Can I call it one uh, uh, Jose? Can I call it? He said, there's a storm coming. Now you can sit on up there on that mountaintop and not make yourself available and you and your house are going to be the storm and mom and dad, it's up to you what you prepare for your house to where your family is going. God said unto Noah, Noah, you better go get you some gopher wood and you better build your ark. You better build your ark and I want you to build it 150 foot long and 75 foot high. I want you to put it three stories, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. On the second floor, I want you to put a door because Jesus said I am the door and no man can come to the Father except he comes through me. But what did he do? He began to prepare himself. Well, I can just see Brother Paul. Paul, he thought he had it himself together. There comes a time in your life that God has shut you down and God has set you down. And, and Paul said, I sat at the feet of Gamaliel. I feel the anointing of God. I sat at the feet of Gamaliel. I got me some education. And I got everything going good. But God said one day, no, so Paul, his name was Saul. Saul, you're going down the wrong road. No, I'm going over to kill the church. I don't like the Christians. He thought he was doing God a service. But God says, watch this, Saul. you starting to mess with my people. I'll take you and your education, and I'll knock you off of the horse, off your feet. I will blind you. I will get you to be unlearned of everything you've done. I'll get you unlearned because I'm going to take care of my children. And we know the story. God prepared him before he got on the ship. He prepared him before he got into the bottom of the ship. 
and the storm began to flow and the wind blew. He prepared him whenever he was down there praying. And they come down there and said, well, the ship is going to be lost. Everybody get off the ship. We're going to lose our life. But Paul said, wait just a minute before y'all abandon this ship. I just talked to God. And God told me everything was going to be all right. Now that story will mess you up a little bit because that boat fell apart. And sometimes we get a word from God and, and the boat falls apart. But in the middle of holding on to what God said, you get a hold of a board and hang on. You get a hold of something and hang on because the God that we serve is going to bring you through the storm that the life that you're going through. Why? Because God is preparing us for the next level in our life. If we don't pass this test, we'll not get to the next season in our life. See, even a farmer understands this. A farmer understands he has to get up and turn up that ground and he has to pull out the rocks and, and pull out the weeds. He has to prepare to, before he plants the seed. The farmer just can't go out there where there's grass and weed and, and throw seed. He has to work. I'm telling you, church, if there's ever been a time that the church needs to work, we need to work like we never work. We need to be soul winners like we've never been soul winners. I, I like to stop and walk down the aisle and ask you, what are you doing for the kingdom of God? Oh, I come to church every Sunday morning. Well, that's for you. How do you want what do you do all week long? How do you witness and how do you teach and how do you preach and how do you prophesy and what do you do all week long? That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about what you do after you get out of church. Well, I give my tithe. It ain't your tithe. The money belongs to God and you just give it back to God so therefore you will be trustworthy. God said, I want to take you to the next level. See, we have to know that if we're going to have a harvest, we got to plant a seed and the farmer says, I'm going to get a harvest so I'm going to plant a seed. I'm going to work because I know a harvest is coming. See, when, you, when we start talking about uh, you're preparing ourselves, uh, we have to understand uh, with all of these little mothers around the church. Uh, and the first thing they do when, when they go and, and they take them to uh, and they go to Walmart to get them one of these little pregnancy tests. And, and they come back and they say, hey, I'm pregnant. Uh, and they're jumping up and down. Lord, my God, if they really understood, they'd be crying. Oh, God. Uh, if they understood the nights of sleepless nights and uh, they understand uh, uh, when they to get 14 and 15 years old how, how much heartbreak but the mother then the father will I know today they can go and get the scan and tell you if it's a boy or girl it used to be they painted half the room pink and half of it blue How that way we don't know what it's going to be and we'll paint the other side when we're, but they begin to prepare they get them some diapers and why because there's a baby coming and if we ain't got some milk in the house it's going to be a noisy house they begin to prepare they begin to prepare well church today I come to tell you, we need to prepare for the second coming of Jesus Christ because Jesus is coming like a thief in the night. Even before you know it, hello, you need to keep your eyes up. Oh, I know we ain't been hearing a whole lot about Iran and Iraq and a whole lot here lately. It's more about North Korea. It's no, it's more about everyone. Oh, no, no. He said when you hear of wars, of rumors of wars in many different places, understand I'm getting ready ready to come. I believe Jesus is getting ready to come and you need to prepare. We prepared for Irma before she come. We got everything in order. And some of you said, well, pastor, what's going to happen if you don't know Jesus Christ? You're in trouble. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 12 that it come and it come when so many people are unexpected. We're not really expecting Jesus to come. You know the parables that you find in the book of Matthew chapter 10. It was 10 virgins. Yes, they were. They were all virgins. Yes, they were. They were all church members. Yes, they were. They all were set aside virgins. All of them. And five of them was five and five of them was foolish. Five says, I got plenty of time. I don't need to prepare for nothing. I don't need to plan for nothing. I don't need to worry about nothing. I'm not preparing. But there was five little girls. Five, as the teenagers was calling them some chicks. They was five little chicks. Said, hey, I'm going to go and I'm going to get me some oil. Oil representing the spirit. Representing the anointing. I'm going to go get me some oil. And the Bible said when the sounds begin to cry out and the horn begin to blow that the bridegroom was coming. The five foolish went
went running over. It's going to be a day that is going to be too late. You can play with God and play with church and play with reality, but it's going to be too late. You're going to run over to your mama's house. Hello, your mama's going to be gone. You're going to call the preacher, and my phone's going to be busy. It's going to be all, it's going to ring. You're going to get my voice messages, but I ain't going to be there. You're going to come by the church, and the church doors are not going to be open. That's why you need to prepare that Jesus is coming. We don't know the day and hour that a button will be pushed. Some crazy man to push a button, but you need to know that you're born again and washed with the blood of Jesus Christ. A cry was made. They were unprepared. How many people in the church today is unprepared? So many people are unprepared. Why? Because you made it through the last storm of your life. Some people did not prepare much this time because Matthew didn't do much. Oh, but the next time, when they say a storm is coming, everybody going to want to buy them a generator. Everybody going to want to to get out of, ta- uh, out of Dodge. Everybody want to go somewheres. How do, but why? Because when you didn't prepare yourself to have power in your house, you lost stuff. Well, I just pro- stopped by to prophesy to some of you today. When you ain't got power in your house, you ain't got Holy Ghost in your house, your lights are going to go out and you're going to lose some stuff. If you ain't got the promise of the word of God, how the understanding that Jesus is the light and you've not connected to the light, there's some stuff that called children in your house that you're going to be misplaced. I don't care how much you put, because the Bible said in that day and hour, there'll be people stand up and y'all need to hear the word. It's not pastor. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just preaching this morning. I, I just know what I, I'm supposed to do and that's to get you to be prepared. And the scripture said there's some will stand there and say, did I not prophesy or the word preach? I prophesied in in your name. Did I, I not cast out devils? But he'll look at him and say, I don't know you. It ain't what you used to be, but it's what, it, what you are now. It's about you being connected to God right now. Well, how do I prepare for this battle that you're talking about? I already had my lesson on how to prepare for a hurricane. Go with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 6 because I'm going to get you prepared for the greatest battle that's going to ever come in your life. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 10, he said, finally, my brethren, so he must have been talking to the church. He said, finally, my brethren, finally means P.S. It's going to be over with pretty quick. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on, that's something that you got to do. I can come and pour oil on you until you get pickled. I can come and put my hands on you until you got a handprint of my hand in your forehead. But if you don't put something on, if you don't do something, I can pray for you. My daddy used to say, yeah, I can take the horse and the mule to the water, but you can't make him drink. I can pray for you. Oh, Pastor, thank you for praying. Thank you for praying. But I need you to pray for yourself. I need you to talk to God for yourself. I don't need you to wait until something begins to happen. He said, put on the whole, how much? The, how much? That means all of it, didn't he say? He said, put it all on. Why? There's a reason. Because you're going to a battle. And if you miss any one spot, the devil will see where your weakness is, and that's where he's going to attack. Right now, and you're down at the stadium, how your one team is looking to see where the weakness of the other team is. If I can see if the quarterback's weak, we're going to go. If the left or the tackle, or whatever, that's where we're going to go for the weakest point. The devil's not going to attack you in your strong port. He's coming to your weak point. So therefore, put, 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 put on the whole arm of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against mama and daddy. We're not wrestling against aunts and uncles. We're not wrestling against your exes. We're not wrestling against your in-laws, but against principalities and powers of this world and the rulers of this darkness in this world against spiritual weakness in high places. And therefore, he says that again in verse 13, therefore, put on the whole arm 
armor of God. He said it twice. That must have been important. Anytime you have a letter and the letter says something more than once, they want you to get the meaning of what they're saying. He said you got to put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand when in the evil day. Hello, it's that day. And having done all, he said, I want you to stand. Having you put all this on, after you fought, I want you to stand because I want you to be a soldier. I want you to be that man standing as you go out to the naval base uh, and, the, and, and, and the young men are standing there straight forward uh, and they're looking straight forward. They're not looking uh, and then you know, they just do something like this. Uh, why? They're standing and they're standing guard because they understand. Uh, he said, stand having your loins go about with the truth. You better know what you believe in and having the blessed praise of righteousness, you better be living right. Having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace uh, and above all, you better, uh, above all, that's where he said, it's not just having uh, all of this def uh, offenses, but he said, I want you to be defenses. I want you to be able to stand. And he said, having a shield of faith wherein you've been able to fight against the wicked ones. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword, which is the word of God. And above all, I want you to stand. We, you know, so, so sometimes when we get saved, people misunderstood getting what saved meant. It meant, oh, everything's going to be okay. We ain't going to have no battles. We're going to just be out in the park, a little walk. We're going to be out on a little canoe and we're going to just take a little shrift down. Oh no, when you begin to say I want Jesus and I'm standing by faith, you're putting a big old target on you and God's going to allow you to go through some things in your life. How do you say, well pastor, I need some word. Hear what Jesus said in Matthew 5 and 11. He said, blessed are you that men revile you and persecute you and they say all evil things against you for my name's sake. They're going to fight on you. It sure sounds like battle to me and the enemy that we have is what Peter talked about in 1 Peter 5 and 8. He said we have a great enemy and it's the devil and he's like walking about seeking whom he may devour. What do we have to do? Paul said in Ephesians take a stand. Put your shoes on. I remember when I was a kid out in the, I was in the fields with my grandpa. I, I, he, he used to go out yonder. He had him a, a one horse power. You know he'd just get behind one old mule and he pushed that old mule and he said Steve, we're going to, and he get up early in the morning. He said, we're going to get up there and go. We're going to get up and go. I, I know you can find out if, if there's a Dobbs in the house because they ain't got shoes on. I seen, I seen, uh, I, I see somebody's shoes right here. Uh, uh, here's, here's a pair of shoes and here's another pair of shoes and who are they? I can tell you there's one of the Dobbs grandkids. How <laughs> because it's just in our blood not to wear shoes. And how when I was out on my grandpa's farm and 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 he get up and he said, Son, you gotta go through that briar patch. You better put your shoes on. I'd be so tired. I said, I'm okay. And I'd jump around the briar patch and I didn't get no briars, and then I'd get over where the field was, and then he said, Son, you should have put your shoes on because this sand's gonna get hot. And then the sand would get hot, so hot, until I'm jumping around. My grandpa, and I'll never forget it, my grandpa would take and pick me up, and he would put me on his shoulders because my feet got so hot. Why? I did not prepare myself. When you don't prepare yourself and put your shoes on, there's some places where God wants you to go. You can't go. If you ain't got the word of God, you can't go. You need to have the helmet on. He said, he said, uh, he said that God provided it to us. He said, you put it on. We're the soldier, and God is the one that gives us the uniform. He said, I want you to put on the whole uniform. Everything you got, I want you to put it on. I want you to put it on because you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to go through some things in your life. So I understand. In closing this morning, there's one thing that we have to do is we have to just show up to the battle with our uniform on. Just show up to the battle with our uniform on. Just show up. Why? The battle's already been won. He just waiting on you to show up. I said the battle's already been won. He's waiting on you to show up. When you begin to show up, you begin to understand that is a fixed fight. God Almighty is what his name is. He said, my name is God Almighty. I'm the one that can do it. I'm the father that can. I, 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 I love to watch the cop shows. And, and the cop shows will you know, you'll, you'll show your son that he, he got the guy and got him all bound up. Like He said, if you didn't have that badge on, I, I would whoop you up and down. And I 
would tear you apart. The devil knows if we ain't got the blood of Jesus on us, which gives us our authority, he can whoop us up, cast us down. But I found out that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And the badge I got is the blood of Jesus. You can't touch this because he'll send angels to work for me. Well, Pastor, the storm is bad. and What am I going to do in my life? All I could just tell you, your tomorrow is going to be better than today. Next week is going to be uh, is going to be better than last week. If if tomorrow would speak, tomorrow will tell you things that you worried about didn't come to pass. Let me say that again. If tomorrow could speak, tomorrow will tell you you worried about things yesterday and didn't sleep last night, but it did not happen the way that you thought it was going to happen. If next year we could get to the place and we could look back, all those fears that we had. That's why the devil said, "I want to operate in fear because fear opens the door up to let him get his big old fat." foot in but he said I didn't give you the spirit of fear but a power and love and a sound mind I come to prophesy to you today if you will prepare your house if you will prepare your house mom and dad granny you got to do it quit waiting on the preacher to do it bringing them to children's church and we have some of the greatest children's church pastors youth ministry no mom and dad you got to do it Quit telling them to do something you ain't doing. Quit telling them to live holy and you ain't living holy. I need to hush up. Quit telling them that you got to do something. They got to do something. Well, pastor, I'm, a, I'm the adult. I know what I'm doing. Yes, you should know what you're doing. You should be setting the example in front of your children. I never seen my daddy cuss. Did I see him upset? Yes. Did I see him mad? I know y'all love Jimmy Dobbs, so let me say it. Yes. While he was still in his flesh. Probably the maddest I ever seen him was, I was about nine years old. He was next door. And we used to have these little saints of God that would come from Ferndina Beach. And old timers used to remember that you'd come, come Sunday nights and sit on the amen corner. My daddy would love those mamas to death. My daddy would be over there looking excited every time those mamas would come because those mamas would go with their wide hat. Woo! I mean, preacher, 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 kind of like you. Preacher, 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 preacher. All that says to the preachers like us, sick them, sick them, sick them, sick them. And my dad used to love that amen corner. They wasn't at church one Sunday night. He said, I wonder what happened. Wasn't at church the next Sunday night. I wonder what happened. Finally, one of them called for prayer. He said, Mama, where you been at? He said, you're deacon out on that car. Sat out there and said we couldn't come in. He said, my deacon. Said that deacon out there on that station wagon with that cigar. He said, wait, wait, wait just a minute. I thought maybe somebody may have told you, but he ain't my deacon. He's sitting out there with a cigar. And he said he couldn't. So that week, all week long, I heard my dad vent. Says, you know, those spirit-filled mamas over there, that, and says, I'm going to be, I'm a, now I, I thought I was going to see my daddy whip somebody for the first time. I thought my dad was going to whip somebody all week long. So I remember eight, nine years old, hallelujah, somebody motioned for my dad to come, and, and, and because he told mamas to come on, hallelujah, and, and, and all of a sudden, the, uh, uh, you know, my dad went, went out there with a couple of men, went out there, and I'm, I'm dodging behind the cars. I'm waiting for my daddy. My daddy's going to whip somebody today. My daddy's going to whip somebody at the church, and, and my daddy went out yonder, and he said, brothers, can I help you? And he says, it ain't right. This is a white man's church. It ain't right. It, all, the, all these black folks coming in. It ain't right. And my dad looked at him. He said, it ain't a white man's church. It ain't a black man's church. It's God's church. And he looked at the man uh, sitting on the stage, which on the station wagon. He said, sir, you're welcome to come. I'm not coming in there. He used some other languages with those folks. And, and my dad says, well, Commonwealth goes both ways. You can go either way you go. But anytime you ever want to come back, I, I will have to stand here and tell you some six weeks, two, three months later the man that was sitting on that hood I'll never forget what his name was. He called my dad and my dad went over to his house. His name was Brother Jackson and he lived off of Lim Turner. How He belonged to the KKKs and he comes over there and he tells my dad come and talk to me. My dad talked to him and my dad led him to Jesus Christ and the next Sunday morning Brother Jackson was sitting in the church. Why? Because my dad took 
took a stand and prepared for what is happening today. And church, if you don't prepare and take a stand against what's wrong in your house, if you don't take a stand, then you won't stand for nothing. If you let anything and everything go on in your house, then your house is going to fall. You think that somebody's going to come up in my house cussing and fussing. Oh, no, no, no. I'd be like a, I'd be like a little Jimmy Dobbs. I'd be my little short legs. I'd be saying, you getting down here. Boys, bay goes both ways. You get out of my house. We need to fight for our house, family. We need to prepare our family. If we don't, the devil's going to destroy our house. But I come to tell the devil, there's some folks in this house that we prepare. We getting our generators ready. I wish I could make a sound of a generator. Why? Because we're going to get some power in the house. We're going to have power in the church. We're going to have power at home. I'll let the lights go out. Let other people have their storms. But I'm going to stay in the Word of God. If you're here this morning and you say, Pastor, if you're watching my internet, I'm really not prepared for the greatest battle of my life. And that's one day you have to stand before God. Your mama can't stand there and fight for you. Preacher can't come in and intercede for you. I can't write a letter for you to get you out of trouble. I can't tell them how good you are and how good your family is. You have to live the life before you go. Ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. I don't care what churches say today, you must be born again. The Bible said there would be certain type of people and it would not be in heaven. You read it for yourself. God says there will be people that are righteous and holy. I'm not, I'm not talking about perfect people because the Bible done told me there's no perfect. No one and one. We all going to have a mess up and mislip in our life, but it should not be the way of our life. It shouldn't be the way that we live. Today, I'm going to ask this question. Would everybody stand at your feet? If you're watching my internet and you want prayer, I want you to just put, Pastor, pray for me. You say, Pastor, I'm not really for sure. Come on, saints, help me pray. I'm not really for sure. I don't really know for sure. I'm not really for sure that I'm prepared that if I should die today, I'm really not for sure. I'm really not for sure. I'm really not for sure that I'm prepared. You say, Pastor, I want you to pray for me. Thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand. There's still somebody else in this building that says, Pastor, I need you to pray for me. Thank you for that hand. 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 You say, Pastor, I need you to pray for me that I I'll be stronger in Christ than I've ever been before. I want to see that hand. Thank you for those hands. Every single one of you that raised your hand, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. You're not joining the church, but you're just saying, I want to prepare. I want to prepare. I want to prepare. Thank you for coming, son. Thank you for coming, son. You make my day happy. You make my day happy, son. You make my day happy. Oh, come on, church. I'm still waiting on some to come. I'm still waiting on some to come. You say, Pastor, I need prayer for my family. I want you to come. Because I believe that you prepare. You prepare. You prepare yourself. You prepare yourself. You prepare. Come on, I'm still waiting on some more to come. I give myself to you today, so God. You can use me, myself away. Lord, touch my little daughter today. If you're in this building today, I wish everybody by internet, everybody in this building, I wish you'd repeat out to me, say, Dear Lord Jesus, Forgive me of my sins. I'm a sinner. I need the blood of Jesus on my life. I need salvation that only comes through Jesus Christ. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross. And on the third day, the Father raised you from the dead. I accept you as my personal Savior. Save me today, Jesus. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Forgive me of all my sins. 
Help me to walk the right walk. Help me to be the person you call me to be. Father, today we ask you to touch us today. Father, let us be who you called us to be. Let us be who you called us to be. I want, you, I want all of you praying. I'm going to pray for you. But I want you praying. I want you praying. I want you praying. Come on, church. Use me. Give myself away. church I need someone to help me pray continue praying father for the whole house for the whole family God use me I won't go give yes Jesus father to go father touch my friend in Jesus name Father, in the name of Jesus. 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 Father, touch. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Come on, church. Come on, church. Talk to God. Let's pray. 